we're going to be drawing a barrel wave representation. And uh, it is a figure. It's a diagram or pictorial illustration of textual matter. And our anchor standards are fine and, and complete artistic work. Performance standard reflect on re-engage, revise, and refine work of art for design, considering relevant traditional and contemporary criteria as well as personal artistic vision. So, warm-up questions. What is a barrel wave? Where are good places to see and surf barrel waves? What causes a wave to become like a barrel and be able to be surfed? Background. Tube writing. Okay, so this is information on how barrel waves are formed and uh, pictures of people actually uh, surfing them. Looks like a lot of fun. Now, we're still working with the concept of Solowit, who used lines, geometric solids, ratios, patterns, formulas, and permutations to create his modern structures and wall paintings. The assignment instructions are create a representation of a barrel wave using diagonal lines, radiating lines, and circles drawn with coins. On a piece of 9 by 12 paper, draw a half-inch border. Look at the diagram of lines and measurements and create your initial layout for your barrel wave. Your wave will be colored on the lower diagonal area in blue-violet and blue-green. The upper diagonal and radiating lines will be colored in green and blue-green. The circles will be drawn in red, violet, and yellow. Watch the video for exact instructions. You need to do that. Here's a guy riding a barrel wave. This is my inspiration for this assignment. And the easiest way to do this assignment is to copy the diagram below and watch the video for detailed instructions and guidance. So here it is. This is it, okay? You'll have your hard copy open. You're at, you put a, a, a line, a mark at one inch and three inches up from the bottom of your uh, border on the right and the left. Okay, and draw a diagonal line. Come in six inches over here. Put a line over here, a mark. Run a line and then make another line, mark at six inches from the bottom here to here. Run your line up. Boom, you got your line. From the middle here, you can, from this is the midline, run up seven inches to here. Okay, seven inches and put a mark. From that mark, run a line from here to here. From this mark, you will go, run up four inches, four inches to here. Take your, your ruler, put it over here, run a line five inches down to here. Put a mark. From three, go up three inches, put another mark. Run, a, run your ruler across and run a line out four inches to here. Boom. Okay. Come up five inches on your line over here, in the midline here, and run your line from here to here. Come in five inches over here on your diagonal, put a mark, and run a line from your five inch mark to the five inch mark. Okay, so uh, now you've created this form. Once you've created the form, you will then put uh, Diagonal lines, or yeah, these are diagonal lines at, at a quarter, at an eighth of an inch uh, dimension on your lower area here. Also here, you will go and do. You will then put diagonals coming up to from this point to this point, and then you will radiate out from this point to here and to here. And you try to keep the end width at one eighth of an inch, and it's going to get really tight in here. Don't worry about that. You're going to come down two inches from this point here to about here, run a radiating line out over here. And then off of that line, then you'll do all your other radiating lines that come out. Over here, run out two about three radiating lines out and make sure you only go out an eighth of an inch over here, okay? Then you will take a coin and you a bunch of coins. This is a quarter and a dime. And you will make a, oh, at least 32 uh, of these uh, circles. And then you will radiate out from the midline Come out an, a quarter of an inch here, okay? And come out a half inch, half inch. You come out a quarter of an inch and then run your lines out. These are not totally exact, but you see, you're, you're trying to create a sense of energy. Then you're going to use your colors, okay? And you watch the video for that. I'm not gonna go into that. Your grading rubric is, uh, you, every direction is followed to the fullest extent. Completed artwork is exceptionally neat. 
Student worked the entire period with superior focus, did not need reminders to stay on task. Expectations, students exceeded expectations of his or her ability level. This is a two period assignment. Submit your assignment as period number, last name, first name, SL7. Okay, it's worth two points. One photograph of your finished colored and painted work. See example above. All should be submitted as a PDF file made using Google Slides. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a border around this whole paper at one half inch. Okay. This is one half inch. That's one inch. That's a half inch. I'm going to take my device, my measurer, and I'm going to draw a line. There you go. Draw another line. 
how you do your drawing. You get started. Okay, so you will mark here, you will come up one inch here to one inch, make a mark. Come up to this side and you're gonna put a line across at three, you're gonna have at three inches a mark. And then you're gonna line, run a line across your paper like this. Okay, run your line across. That's your first line. At the intersection of six inches, when you hit here from this corner to here, make a mark. Measure up six inches from here to here. That's six inches. Now run a line from this point here to here, to the six inches, from this, this measurement here to here. Measure from here through your intersection point up seven inches to here. Draw a line from the top of your six inch mark here to here. Measure up, let's measure up four inches to here. That's four inches. Draw a line. Five inches to here, from here, stopping here. Right. This is five inches. Draw another line or make a mark here at three inches on the side. there and then draw a line out to that line at four inches four inch line out from here this is four inches to here okay you've you've come up three inches, made a mark. Then you come out from this point here. You come out from this point here and you measure out four inches to there and you put a mark. You draw out from here to here, four inches. From the bottom, draw five inches from here up your midline to here and make a point. Five inches, that's five inches to there. Okay, then coming off of this last line that you drew, draw a line from here to here. Erase your line here. You don't need this here, erase this. Okay. This is just for reference. Draw a line or measure a line five inches from here to here. Put your mark and then draw a line from this point to this point. Eighth inch lines here and you can estimate your distance and they will follow the contour or the line that you've created here. Okay, so. Then, following this line, you will make 
Follow this line, you will make eighth inch lines. Again. Going in this direction. <clears throat> Now, you will come to here and draw a line from here to here and radiate your lines down to here. At, you're starting at the point there to an eighth of an inch, about an eighth of an inch. Radiating your lines. Okay, so that was the final radiating line coming out here, coming out, radiating out here, that radiating line there. Okay, now you will take your lines here and you will radiate out up to here. Coming to two and a half inches here, you will radiate your line out from here and radiate. You will now radiate out here, here, within this space here. You will radiate out all the way to here. Okay. Go about a half an inch and stay within that space. Stay within that space. Stay within that space.
Okay. There. Now, within this space here, you will now make small uh, circles here, uh, random circles here, 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 here. And you're gonna use a tool to do that. Okay, so now using a dime and a quarter, okay, you're gonna make line, you're gonna make circles within here, okay? And you're gonna draw that around your dime. Okay. Overlap your circles and vary them using the quarter and the dime. If you have other coins you'd like to use, you can do that as well. And just continue making this. This is essentially the foam. You're, you're creating an abstraction of foam and uh, all that stuff that you see when a wave is crashing. I now have 32 of these different uh, circles. Now, you will take a, in each circle, I want you to go to the midline of each circle, and then I want you to project a line out about a half inch, okay, from, you can come out about a quarter of an inch and then come out a half inch. Okay, and then you're just so so it's good to be on a, a mark. So you got a quarter, and then you've got a half inch here, and you come out, come out a half inch, a quarter and a half inch here. It's about a half inch. Okay, so essentially, you want to have these lines here, kind of projecting out like this. I'm going to estimate it. You just want them to be like this. Okay, these lines. It's coming off the midline here. Okay. You will work with three colors for this portion of, from here and in here, this portion of your composition. You'll work with a dark purple or navy blue. This is called violet. This is violet. Anything you get close to violet, you'll use a green blue. And then we have a green. Okay, the green will be, you're gonna alternate. So you're gonna start here with your blue, your your violet, okay? So I'm doing my violet here, okay? Okay, so that's done there, okay? Now you're gonna alternate the green and the light blue. Okay, for here, for these circles, we're gonna use yellow. And if you have a red violet or something close to this, violet, some lavender type color, you'll use that. And you can fill these in. As they overlap, you 
Uh, then see, see, and then come over here with your yellow, and you're gonna you're gonna have to choose. Okay, you gonna. I'm going to start with these lines and I'm going to start with one color, the, the purple. Clean your brush, make sure you get any stuff off of it. If you see you got any stuff on there, you want it to be clean. Now I'm gonna work with purple, or my violet, or whatever you wanna call it, my violet, or I don't know. What do we call this color? We call this color red violet, red violet. And this is our composition. This is our final composition here that has been created. All right, there you go.